This is the 2024 City of Lynn inaugural ceremony. My name is John Walsh, the Ward 7 Councilor and President-elect of the Lynn City Council, and your um, MC for tonight's ceremony. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. All right, nice. Now batting. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2024 and 2025 Lynn City Councilors elect and the Lynn School Committee members elect, led by the 59th Mayor of the City of Lynn, Mar uh, Mayor Jared C. Nicholson. Everyone please rise as the color guard prepares to advance the colors and remain standing, please. I'd like to ask to the podium the Dean of the Lynn City Councilor, Councilor Hong Net, to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance.
Good evening, everyone. So wonderful to see you. It's a wonderful evening. Um, please join me, um, a pledge of allegiance to our flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Lit Police, the Fire Department, Honor Guards, and the Lynn High School uh, Marine Corps Junior ROTC, led by Sergeant Major Jose Vito, for the presentation of the colors. I would also like to thank the Police Chief Chris Reddy, Fire Chief Dan Sullivan, and Ned Shinnick, the bagpipe. We would also like to recognize Welcome friends and former colleagues, mayors, former city council presidents, former council members, school committee members, and superintendents of schools that are here tonight. Um, Dr. Alvarez is here tonight in the audience. Give her a round of applause. <laughs> Would like to recognize member of the Lynn State Delegation, Senator Brendan Crichton is here tonight. State Rep. Dan Cahill is here tonight. State Representative Peter Capano is here tonight. State Representative Jennifer Amini is here tonight. And also State Rep. Donald Wong is here tonight also. Also in attendance tonight, the Essex County Sheriff Kevin Coppinger and the Essex County uh, DA Paul Tucker is here. I now invite Pastor Kurt Lang to offer the invocation. Each election cycle, we ask our elected public servants to lead the city of Lynn boldly and courageously during seasons of opportunity and through seasons of great difficulty. It is not an easy assignment and each of our leaders in every corner of this city need our prayers. They need our prayers to lead this great city and for our city to fulfill what is in store for us. We must pray that our leaders will have great wisdom, compassion, vision, and justice. In our church, we say you pray two ways. You pray with your words and you pray with your feet. The time for praying with our feet will come after the inauguration. For now, if you would like, please join me as I pray. Almighty God, our Father, this evening we join together to ask you for your blessing upon the leaders of Lynn. Upon the re-elected and the newly elected, we are so grateful. Upon our school committee and the city councilors and our mayor, we request that you would fill them with hope for a new day, with vision for the future, and wisdom to handle the sometimes chaotic, confusing, and challenging situations that they are confronted with each day. We invite your peace and prosperity to invade this city and all her residents. Guide our leaders as they navigate the different opportunities and challenges in front of us, helping us to develop a city that is an ever-increasing uh, place of justice and prosperity for all. As we pursue peace for our city, help us to walk in your paths so that we may experience the fullness of peace in every neighborhood and in every home. And now, Lord, lead us in your ways as we become a great city of peace and prosperity for all, where every yoke is broken and the oppressed are set free. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Kurt. <laughs> the Lynn Public Schools All City Band, led by Jeremy Whittler, Director of Lynn Public Schools High School Band, and Julie Carroll, Music Director of the Lynn Public Schools, now will perform the Salute to America.
Administering the oaths of office this evening is the Honorable Cesar A. Achia, First Justice, and the City Clerk General will call the roll of the Council as elect. Councillor Allensug, present. Councillor Chakoudis, present. Council Field, present. Council Hogan, present. Council Lapierre, present. Council Matul, present. Council McLean. <laughs> Council McLean, present. <laughs> Council Meany. Council meeting. Present. Present. Yeah. <laughs> it's your fan club. <laughs> Councillor Meji Madre. Yeah. <laughs> Councillor Nett. Yeah. And Council Walsh. Yeah. Present. Yeah. All present. I state your name, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as city councilor of the city of Lynn according to the best of my ability and understanding, agreeable to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and the laws of this Commonwealth, and charter and ordinances of the City of Lynn. So help me God. And I state your name, do solemnly swear that I will uphold and affirm and defend the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. Secretary of the School Committee, Mary Jules, will call the roll for the School Committee members elect. Brian Castellanos. <laughs> Eric Dugan. <laughs> Lorraine Gately. Please raise your right hand. Okay. I state your name, do solemnly swear and affirm that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent on me as school committee members of the city of Lynn. 
according to the best of my ability and understanding, agreeable to the rules and regulations of the Constitution and the laws of this Commonwealth, and charter and ordinances of the city of Lynn. So help me God. And I, state your name, do solemnly swear that I will uphold and affirm and defend the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So help me God. The Lynn Public Schools All City Band will perform Semper Fidelis. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce our 59th Mayor of the City of Lynn, Jared C. Nicholson. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. 
Ladies and gentlemen, school committee members, city councilors, guests, and officials, thank you all so much for being here. Thank you to our wonderful performers and all the participants for making this night a special occasion. That was terrific, thank you so much. And above all, congratulations to the 2024 City Council and the 2024 School Committee. I am so excited to work with you all. Congratulations to all your families and supporters. This is a special moment for you as well, so congratulations. I would like to especially congratulate the newly elected officials. There are six of you, which I think is a great opportunity for fresh perspectives and new dynamics. That's certainly true. That's certainly true with the many firsts that we are honored to be inaugurating this evening. Ward 2 Counselor Obed Matul, our first Latino counselor. Ward 4 Counselor, Natasha Meshi Madri, our first Afro-Latina Counselor. <laughs> counselor at large, Nicole McLean, our first Black American Woman Counselor. School committee member Andrea Satterwhite, our first woman of African American descent on the school committee. And I also want to extend a special congratulations to our other newcomers, Ward 1 Counselor Dr. Peter Meany. School committee member Sean Reed. As we all embark on a new term together, I would also like to thank the entire, the entire city and Lynn Public School teams who have devoted their careers to public service. Thank you for what you do every day for the people of our city, the people that we represent. Thank you. This is an exciting moment for Lynn. As we make history tonight and continue to make progress for the entire community. It coincides with a sad and difficult moment as we face the challenge of community violence that claimed the lives of two of our students just a few days ago. It's a challenge that we must all be united in confronting. I know that we will join together to stand against this violence and strive for a world that allows all of our young people to safely live their best lives. Yeah. If, if you're wondering how you can help, we have a call for mentors event coming up later in January. Please sign up for our newsletter or follow us on social media for more in details if you're interested in becoming a mentor or know somebody who is. Another way to help is to suggest to someone you admire that they take the civil service test and look into becoming a police officer. We need great people and the deadline to sign up, the first deadline to sign up for this year's test is coming up January 16th. We have real challenges facing us. 
This is also a difficult time in government generally. Around the world, and certainly here in the United States, a deep mistrust of government is being sowed and exploited. Free and fair elections, like the ones that put you all here this evening, help replenish that trust. But as we have seen nationally, that in itself is not enough. One reason for that is the pervasive insecurity that people feel in today's world from it having changed so rapidly while leaving too many people behind. People wonder where they fit in. That feeling that I too could be left behind creates tremendous anxiety. What if I don't get on the right track? What if my kids don't get on the right track? What if there's no track even open for me? The painful relevance of these question, questions is a sign of deep societal inequality. And others prey on the anxiety that those questions provoke in order to advance their own agendas. There's still real questions. And one of the things that I love most about Lynn is that more than most places in the entire world, we can say that we're really capable of making sure everyone, no matter their circumstances, has a track available to them that will take them somewhere promising. We're educating students from all over the world, no matter the circumstances, and making real progress towards having facilities suitable for that noble purpose. We're creating new housing opportunities in a moment where growth has been sidelined. We're creating job training opportunities at Lynn Tech and in partnership with organized labor. We're taking on major projects to make sure our residents can get around safely and efficiently. And we're pioneering innovative approaches to the opioid crisis, language access, and public safety all in support of the idea that no matter your circumstances, if you are here, you are valued and loved, and you deserve a track available to you that will actually work for you. That's the vision we're working towards. We still have a lot of work to do to make that a reality, and we'll have occasion to talk more in depth about exactly how we're doing that. You're all invited to the state of the city on January 30th in the council chambers, but I, I offer that vision of making different tracks available to all and, a, and our commitment to implementing it in contrast to the approach of allowing some to focus entirely on keeping what they have for themselves and forcing the rest onto a narrow track with near impossible odds for success. That's a world that makes it too easy to hijack the anxiety of others to question and undermine government's role, even with the replenishing force of elections. Tonight, most of all, I want to congratulate the school committee and the city council. We are colleagues in government, and your electoral mandate is an immediate counter to the efforts out there to sow and exploit mistrust in government as is the life experience that the voters sent you here with. Like Councilor Meany's military service and entrepreneurship. <laughs> Councilor Matul's entrepreneurship and community work. <laughs> Councilor Meji Madri's legal education and advocacy experience. Councilor McLean's military service and community leadership. <laughs> School committee member Reed's experience in education and in politics. <laughs> and School committee member Satterwhite's experience in nursing and mentoring. <laughs> and not to leave anyone out, the fine track records of all our returning incumbents.
all of your experiences, the hard work that each of you put into your campaigns, the hopes that you shared with voters and the hopes that voters shared with you, the relationships you built, all help the city move forward together with conviction and legitimacy. Together, we can show everyone, and most importantly, our constituents, that government can be good by upholding strong values, communicating transparently, and delivering results. And I look forward to doing that with you in 2024 and beyond. Congratulations. For their final selection, the Linden Public Schools All City Band will perform Salute to America's Finest.
Great, great job. On behalf of the City of Lynn, I would like to thank Jeremy Withler and Julie Carroll and the band members for a great performance once again. You've demonstrated the tremendous talent of the Lynn's Public Schools, and we want to thank you once again. I would also like to thank Jamie Marsh and his staff. Uh, they worked really hard on the technical support in the auditorium tonight. I know Jamie's here tonight. Thank you, Jamie. This concludes the 2024 City of Lynn inaugural ceremony. The City Council School Committee and Mayor will be going upstairs, will go directly upstairs to meet briefly and organize for the upcoming year. After the recessional, please join us in the foyer for a reception on the second floor here. Thank you.